Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible Southampton 1, Manchester City 4. Erling Haaland brings up 30 Premier League goals on his return as the gap to Arsenal cuts to five points. Erling Haaland takes his tally from this season to 44 goals. That is just incredible across all competition and 30 Premier League goals. Like I said, it's just outstanding. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne becomes the fastest player to reach 100 Premier League assists. Uh, and also Jack Grealish and Julian uh, Alvarez got on the score sheet. It was a complete performance. I didn't think for a second Manchester City were going to lose this game. Yes, Southampton had a couple of chances in the first half, but after City got that first goal, you know that game was just done and dusted. And that's exactly what happened. So what is next now? What is next now? Southampton face a must-win game against a, a, a relegation battle team, Crystal Palace, on Saturday, April 15. And Manchester City host Bayern Munich in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals on Tuesday as well. That is going to be a massive game for those two teams. But let's just quickly take a look at the table here. So as you can see, this is what the table looks like. Manchester City now close the gap to Arsenal, which is within five points. Of course, Arsenal do play tomorrow against Liverpool. By the way, we're going to be live for that game, so make sure you check that out. But that is going to be an interesting game. That is going to be an interesting game. If Arsenal win against Liverpool, I think it's just going to give them a massive, massive boost. But if they drop points, then they're going to create a gap uh, for Manchester City to just sneak in, sneak in and and win that title. And we've seen Manchester City do it before. They've done it to Liverpool in the past and they could easily do it in this, uh, do it this season to Arsenal as well. So it is possible we can't rule out anything, but I do feel like I'm still gonna go with Manchester City to be honest with you. I'm still, I just have a weird feeling that Man City could win the league, but we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. Uh, Arsenal fans, of course, don't want me to say this, but Tomorrow's game is going to be difficult for them. If they can win, if they can actually get a win against Liverpool, I think is it will be a very good uh, result for them. That could just help them out to to make that that gap even bigger. But uh, yeah, people, in this game, man of the match, who should I give it to? I'm gonna give it to. It's between Jack Grealish, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, and Haaland. Do let me know in the comment sections who you think is your man of the match. But I'm gonna go with. Kevin De Bruyne, I think that that assist for that first goal was just outstanding. And all around, Kevin De Bruyne was just brilliant in this match. He also got robbed another assist at the end. Bernardo Silva, he set Bernardo Silva up 1-1 with the goalkeeper and Bernardo Silva misses. But all in all, I thought the performance was really, really good from uh, Kevin De Bruyne. It could easily be Grealish. Grealish is the one that set up uh, Kev um, Erling Haaland for that bicycle kick that was that was like oh wow what an unbelievable goal that is that that goal just reminds me of Ibrahimovic I mean these type of goals are coming from Haaland Haaland you know he's got this in his belt whereas he can show you an incredible goal sometimes but this season rarely we've seen that from him this season all of his goals were this just tap in and people were just act actually calling him a tap in merchant but that goal right there could sit down a lot of people, including me. I mean, I was the one also saying that he needs to score more good goals, great goals, and instead of just tap in. I mean, we need to see more from Haaland, and that, that was an outstanding goal. But that is it, people. Thank you for watching, and do let me know. Do let me know in the comment section, like I said, who was your man of the match for this game, and who you think is going to win the Premier League? Is it going to be Arsenal? Is it going to be Manchester City? Do let me know in the comment sections thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace